So this is 3.1 in linear. It's vectors in two space, three space, and n space, and their properties. So the idea of a vector is that it's basically a directed line segment. So vectors have direction and magnitude. So it has a length. That's why we call it a line segment. Directed line segment fits perfectly. Our notation, I put a little arrow on top. In the book, it might be bold. AB versus BA. When you have the endpoints A and B, you can write it like so, so you can see that it's going from A to B or from B to A. These would be opposite directions. So K is a scalar, which just means it's just a constant. Just a note, some books use parentheses. So I'm going to kind of switch off here so you can know you can use either one. So that K can be distributed to every element in V. When we add two vectors, we add component by component, first components, second components, and third components. So we can add them tip to tail. The tip is the head, and there's the tail. And then the resultant starts at the tail and goes to the tip. This is also the other method, the parallelogram method of adding. The V, again, it's going the same direction. It has the same magnitude. And the W, we copy it. It has the same direction, the same magnitude, the length. And so we've make, we can make a parallelogram out of it. And the diagonal that starts at the two tails and again, it's still, you can see the tip to tail inside here. Here's tip to tail, and there's the resultant, just as this one was. So you can see minus 462 was the resultant of multiplying this vector by 2. So the difference between these two vectors, they are when you multiply through by a scalar, we did here, then these are parallel. So going the same direction. But one of them is twice as long. This is twice as long because we saw we multiplied it by two. Same direction though. So a negative scalar, it does reverse the direction when you multiply. Let's draw these geometrically. Again, this would be added tip to tail. The length of it would be 2v. Okay, so these are properties, and just U, U, V, W are three vectors in R, N. Again, this could be an R2, X and Y axes, R3, X, Y, Z axis, or it can be all the way up to R, N. K and M are scalars. We have the commutative. They can be moved around. They commute. Only the additive commutative we have. They have associative, again, it's only the additives associative, u plus v plus w. You can add these first, or you could add these first. You'll get the same thing on both sides. We have an additive identity, which is zero. We have a multiplicative identity, which is one, the constant one. This is the zero vector, you can tell. We have an inverse, which is the opposite vector. When you add, you get zero. So it's the additive inverse only. We have a distributive. We can distribute a constant to two vectors, or we can 
distribute a vector to two constants, but you can never distribute a vector to a vector. Okay, that's it for this video.